Okay, hi guys. Here you can see an Australian golden orb spider in his web. Uh, this fella's in my backyard. He has um, stretched out quite an amazing web reaching from my ayahuasca vine over to my bin. And I have to move the bin, so unfortunately this little fella has to go. So I'll use this as an opportunity to discuss Tensegrity networks. And as you can see, the spider has spun an amazing three-dimensional web here with areas that are all at cross angles to each other to entrap more bugs. And this is a lot like how the connective tissue of our body forms in these tensegrity networks. And here you can see a white blood cell traversing through the connective tissue of the human body as it goes on search for things to destroy. So our connective tissue is spanned like this through our whole body and it, it acts like a structural lattice for cells to embed and stem cells and for immune cells you've just seen to traverse through much like the spider or climb through his web when he feels the tug of a bug buzzing around in there who's been trapped and he'll quite effortlessly just crawl through the web navigating its openings and spiders do their web actually forms part of like their memory and so he just traverses his web like it is part of him, much like our cells traverse us, like they're just part of us. Now, I have to snap a little bit off this web in a minute, unfortunately. And so I'm just going to break a little bit off the bin. And as you can see, I'm pulling it over to the left. And you begin to see the fibers now blowing in the breeze as the tensegrity of the web of this network has broken down. What kept it open and alive is beginning to collapse and as I pull it right over you can see fibers beginning to snap as new stress and strain and tension is formed in that network in a direction that wasn't naturally designed into that network. Now as I pull it back over to where it was you can see the web has opened back up into its relative shape again. The spider again probably understanding how to climb through his web but even as I pull it now just a little bit off five degrees you can see the tensegrity is breaking down. The stress and strain wasn't designed into that tensegrity to work in that way. And so the web begins to implode in itself, much the same way as when we get an injury, our tensegrity fields have broken down upon themselves. And if that stress and strain, if the web was still pulled out, that may design our tensegrity, design our connective tissue to form in ways that give us unhealthy functional patterns or cause pain, discomfort, injuries to occur. And as you can see, the web breaking down the same way our connective tissue slowly begins to break down, making those areas inside the web where the spider would have crawled through. Now, to be so small, the spider can no longer navigate through it the same way that our stem cells can't embed into the connective tissue, the way that immune cells can't move through those structures once they've become broken down. And so that's what Qigong is about. It's about getting those tiny little spaces there and helping our body to grow and redevelop as opposed to get tight and small and included upon themselves. Alrighty, guys. Well... I'll leave you with that. I um, feel very sorry for poor little spider here. Uh, he'll probably grow his web back and um, catch some more flies, but I've got to move this bin. Alrighty, thanks guys. Have a lovely day.